Well, from the United States, 18-year-old Matthew Nielsen, second Junior Grand Prix season, coached by Raphael Aratunian. 122.91 personal best back in 2019. Well, Matthew's personal best is 122.91. Going to need a 128.56 to take the lead. When you don't have the triple axle or the quad, you have to rely on a perfectly clean program with what you do have and hopefully some connection to the music as well. It's going to be ever so close. But medal's at the stake here. Let's take a look. Triple Lutz. Little miss pick on the takeoff, so didn't get a lot of height. And little forward on the chip total, but a little messy on that opening out. But seemed to settle down in the program a little bit later. Nice triple flip. Nice clean jump, especially near the end of the program. Here's the triple lots a little bit further down in the program. 
Nice. You can see the hands bunched up. You see the fingers sort of crawling up. Those are just little details that you want to straighten the body line up. And the arms and the shoulders, nice soft knee on the landing of that triple loop. So good quality in the mechanics. But polishing up the positions, important for GOE and for overall impression, of course. And Really close from a scoring perspective. We'll see if that's going to be enough. Well, in junior men, generally speaking internationally, triple axles, you need that triple axle to get in the that top group. It depends on the competition and how many, you know, competitors you have. You can shift from junior Grand Prix to junior Grand Prix, depending on who's entered. Having the triple axles, a great asset, of course. But also, is, so is good quality spinning and good quality land landings on jumps so that you're gaining points on the GOE let's take a look let's see how close this is 122.91 personal best but he needs a 128.56 for the lead 126.58 so that's third in the free program what will it be overall 192.38 that's second so far overall with two skaters to come